talking about Quraysh, the people of Quraysh, for the accustomed security of the Quraysh. Means the people who are like you know uh, during the time of winter and during the time of summer how they used to do the business for the accustomed security of the Quraysh meaning how the people of Quraysh will go from one place to another and this is the surah which we talking about you know uh, how they do the business in winter time and also summer time surah starts with Bismillah Rahman Rahim Li ila fi Quraysh for the ilaf of the Quraysh Ilafihim rihlata shitai was said. The ilaf caravans in winter and in summer. Both times they used to do the business. Fal yabudu rabba hazal bait. So let them worship the Lord of this house. Fal yabudu. Yabudu means ibada. So they worship the Lord. Who is the Lord? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is Lord? Allah. Okay. Allazi at amahum min ju wa amanahum min kauf. Who has fed them against hunger and has made them safe from fear. Who is feeding? Allah is giving them food. So this surah has been separated from one that you know the main here talking about you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First you know you, you remember the story of uh, elephant uh, like about Ashab al-Feel, Surah al-Feel about the people of elephant and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped them because they want to destroy the Kaaba. The same way here also we will learn it also has been said that meaning of Ilaq is you know they would gather during their journey in the winter to Yemen and in summer to the Asham through uh, trade and other that and make sure your bottles are tightly closed no spilling of water. They would return to their city in safety during their journey due to respect that the people had for them. Because they were the residents of Allah's sanctuary, which I mentioned about the Makkah, which I showed you the picture also. Okay, That's the Kaaba and Makkah. Therefore, whoever knows them would honor them. Because you know, these people were so good, they will host them, they give the food, they give the water. So they treat people well, well though. Even those who come to them and travel with them would be safe because of them. This was their situation during their journey and travels. During winter also they were very good and during summer also. Okay. So Allah says, have they not seen that we have made the secure sanctuary while people are being snatched away from all around. You know Allah made that place very secure. Who made that place secure? Allah made it. So Allah is mentioning that I made that place very secure. Allah says, the ilaf e Quraysh, ilaf e him. For the ilaf of the Quraysh, their ilaf. Here, you know, uh, Allah is talking about the people, the caravans in the winter and summer. The people would take the uh, goods and they would sell it. So mm -hmm. here we see, the, here Lam is uh, mentioned here. It is to show. It is very amazing though. During winter also they are getting the business. During summer also they are getting the business. They should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after that Allah says be thankful to Allah. When you have everything what you should be doing. You should be thankful not cribbing you know. Oh I, do, I didn't have this thing or that thing. What you have you have to look that right. Don't look what you don't have. Look what you have. Okay got it everyone. Look at the other girls. Sometimes they don't have anything. They, they don't have another pair, pair of piece of, uh, you know, clothes. Or they don't have another pair of shoes. They, they don't have much. Sometimes they don't have much to eat. Have you ever seen the pictures? They are like, you know, they have so much hunger. They have so much. They are so poor. You understand how the things are? But Alhamdulillah, we got everything. We should be thankful. But sometimes you think, oh, I got only this hijab. When I'm going to get the new one? Can I get this? That's okay. You should ask your parents. There's nothing wrong in that. But sometimes they will take some time. Okay? Give them some time. So what we learn in this? <laughs> yeah, if you want anything, just tell them nicely. Okay, please buy this for me. But they will take some time. Maybe more time sometimes. Sometimes become more time. Okay? I understand what you mean by that. <coughs> okay, so Allah says, Inna ma umirtu an abudu rabbi hazal bayt allazi harramaha wa lahu kullu shayin wa umirtu an akuna minal muslimin. 
Allah says in Surah number 27, Ayah number 91, I have been commanded only to worship the Lord of the city, who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has sanctified and to him belongs everything. I am commanded to be among the Muslims. Why this is mentioned here? Because Allah says you have to believe in one Allah. Because the people of Makkah, those who were serving and being a good host, they were doing idol worship. Idol worship is prohibited, not allowed. That's what it says. Okay. And Allah says, Allazi atamahum min ju, who has fed them against hunger. When you are hungry, what you do? You eat, right? When, when the break is going on, what you do? You will open your snack and you will have it. So that's how Allah says, when you were hungry, Allah gave you the food. Meaning, He's the Lord of the house. He's the one who feeds them against hunger. min And has made them safe from fear. They don't have to be fear. Meaning, He uh, favors them with the safety and gentleness. So they should single him out for worship him alone. So Allah is pointing out, you should worship only Allah, not any other God. Got it? No idols, the only Allah is one, one Allah. That's what it says. Without any partner, they should not worship any idols, rivals or statue besides him. Therefore, whoever accepts his command, Allah will give him safety in both the in this life and the hereafter there are two lives right this is the present life and the hereafter after you know when, when we die then when we go to jannah okay there are two lives walaikum salam so there are two lives and whoever accept this command allah will give him safety in both lives allah will give safety in this life and the next life and whoever disobeys him he will remove both of them okay so allah says you should believe and you should obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay girls got it? Mm -hmm. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Allah puts forward the example. You know, the whole of Quran, Allah explained, have a seat, don't go anywhere. So, Allah explains with the good examples, you know. So, in one of the surah, surah number 16, ayah number 112 and 13, Allah says, I have put forward the example of township dwelt with the secure and well content and its provision coming to its abundance you know they have lot of fruit from every place but it denied the favor of allah they were not thankful to allah subhanahu so allah made it taste extreme hunger no food now and fear because of what they used to do because they were not thankful so allah took subhanahu wa took them and when they had come unto them a messenger from among themselves but they denied so here, you know, people of Quraysh, Allah is talking in a different manner to remind them, you know, be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First we learn, li ila fi Quraysh, for the accustomed Quraysh, okay, people of Quraysh. And meaning their accustomed security in the caravan of winter and summer. Because the Quraysh were the inhabitants of the Makkah. They were the custodians of the Kaaba. They were well respected. As I told you, they used to post the people, they give the food, they enjoy the security in their business journey, both to the north and south. They go to different places during winter and summer. So why is this? They have the privilege because of Kabatullah. So let them worship the Lord of this house. It is because of him what they enjoy, all of the privileges. Who is he? He is the one who has fed them, saving them from hunger, and made them safe, saving them from fear. Remember that food and security completely, it's a blessing for from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, whoever among you wake up physically healthy, feeling safe and secure within himself with the food for the day, it is as if he acquired the whole world. So we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should be thankful to Allah. So if you want to share anything,